we've all heard stories of where uh, couples have been married for 60, 70, even 80 years. When one passes, soon after the other passes. And I've always wondered why, why is that? I believe that as the two become one, the heart also grows together as one. And it beats together, it loves together, it hurts together. And when one part dies, it's impossible for anyone to live with just half a heart. In the Bible, in the book of Genesis, it explains that a woman was made from a man. And Adam sees this woman and he gets really, really excited. And I think Joe is really, really excited. He actually, it says he exclaims, so in, in my words he yells that she's flesh in my flesh and bone in my bone goes on to explain that this is why the man would actually leave his mother and father and join his wife, this woman, for the rest of his life. For the rest of our life, I hope we can continue to love one another and start our future as a family. I'm just glad that it's finally upon us. Just kind of anxious and waiting for it to actually begin. I, Joe Watson, take you, Brittany Christensen, be my wedded wife, to have and hold this day forward, for better or for worse, richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, and to love you and cherish you till death do us part. And therefore I pledge you my love and faithfulness. I, Brittany Christensen, take you, Joe Watson, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold for this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, from sickness and health, to love and to cherish, to death do us part. And thereto I pledge my love and faithfulness. Friends and family, this is the part that Joe has so patiently been waiting for. And I'm honored at this time to pronounce you husband and wife, and Joe, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Joe Watson. <laughs> Our trip down to Branson and we were at Silver Dollar City so actually it was her riding buddy ended up just becoming friends and a few years later built up to this. I know she likes scavenger hunts so we actually went out to the Camden City Park and I made her a little scavenger hunt that she had to come follow it and I had my best man, James, go and pick her up and bring her out there to the park. And she had to follow the little map I made and ended up finding me out there and I posed her out in the woods.
This covenant is not just an agreement. It's not just a contract. We're not signing any papers. We're not shaking hands. This is an agreement between you and God and you and God and then between the two of you. And in God's eyes, for the rest of your lives, you'll see the two of you together. Two.